hello everyone welcome back to another brand new azure container registry video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to authenticate with azure container registry in short acr using acr token so this is the agenda for today first of all you're going to learn what is a token, how to create an ACA token, how to grant permission to a token. So if you wanna follow me along, you can follow me. So let's get started. First of all, what is a token? Token is nothing but a credential by which you can authenticate and authorize. First of all, I'm going to create a resource group and I'm going to call tag with Pfizer and let me create this. The next thing we want to do is look for container registry and I'm going to create a container registry with tag with Pfizer and I'm going to call it tag with Pfizer. Let's call this and that's enough for me. I'm going to select basic and create one. Remember when you go to the networking tab by default is going to be public. If you want to make it private you need to use premium. Let's create validation passed. I'm going to wait for the container registry to be created and it's not there yet okay so our registry is created the one i'm interested in is this one repositories right now i have nothing in here and then we have got tokens option here is the definition of a token you can see a token along with the password lets you authenticate with the registry a token is associated with a scope map which consists of permitted actions scoped to one or more repositories all right so here i got the tokens and here as you can see i have no tokens so first of all i want to create a token i call it testing and here is the scope map a scope map means at what level you want to grant permission to this token so a scope map means the the permission level so here you can go by default one or you can create one so let me create this one and after that I'm going to create one more and uh, so that you understand better you do the check mark it means that it's active if I uncheck this it means that the token is going to be created but token is not active okay so let me do this first let me create one so this particular token has pool permission and here you can see password one expiry expiry two password is not generated i'm going to be talking about it just in a second let me create one here i call it second and this time i want to create this one create a new scope map in here i want to call testing foyzer and this time I want to call hello right here and I want to give it to read and write permission. Okay, these two. And then I want to hit create and this time you can see it has testing Pfizer and I'm going to create this. The same thing you could do also from here. This is the same thing I have done. So if I go here and I create third one, this time I say wildcard and I say write permission and I say create, it's going to create one. And you can attach, once you create the scope map, you can attach to any token. So you can also attach it to an existing token. So once you attach it, it's going to inherit the permissions. So let's say if I do another one, I can just create with this one, third one. So I hope you understand the concept. So we got two tokens. And here, if I go to the password one, you can see I can set expiry date. My local time is, this is the expiration date, is going to expire by this time so if i generate generate this and here you can see i get the docker login command and i'm going to take this paste it here so once i do that you can see i got logged in successfully this testing has actually only pull permission right now i do not have any image so therefore i cannot i cannot pull anything so if i say pull there is no image actually in there so here in the second one what i'm gonna do i'm going to generate so if i just use this it's going to generate and it says that 23 that's my time the expiration time and this time if i just i copy this and here i'm gonna say docker logout now i want to log in with this and this time i want to do a push so this local image i want to push to my repositories and remember second one has push permission 
right generated this everything looks good go ahead and i want to push this you can see it's pushing the image because it has the right permission so let's go ahead and wait for the image be available in azure portal here we are in the repositories it's not there yet i wanted to try out the second SCR token this one this one we already tried right so it's pushing the image image pushing as you can see is almost done yes the image pushing is done so now if I refresh I can see hello is there so look at this I got hello in there and if I wanted to pull this now let's say I wanted to do a docker pool. If I wanted to do this, the image is locally available. So I want to use the second token. Is this one testing? And the password was generated, testing. Set expiry date, let's say I regenerate, regenerate. So if I now, and I say docker logout, logout, this. So now I'm going to do the login. Now login succeeded. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a docker pool. So if I do this, it's going to be able to do, but it doesn't have push permission, right? So now what happened if I wanted to actually run push? Will it work? It should not. It's because it has the pull permission, but doesn't have push permission. Therefore, the authorization, you can see authorization, authentication required and it's been denied. So this is what a token does. Token is short-lived, meaning that a token live for a certain period of time and if someone can get the token as long as token is valid they would be able to do stuff when the password gets expired they would not be able to pull or push images anymore from the registry this is what i wanted to show you today i hope you understand the idea if you like this video give it a thumbs up thank you everyone bye bye talk to you soon